Let's talk about what division actually is. Division is taking a group of objects and separating them into smaller equal groups. For example, I have a group of eight children here. If I want to divide these children up, I can think about separating them into equal groups. Here, I have divided the children into two equal groups of four children. Say you are given 25 marbles. This would be your dividend. The dividend is the total number of objects you are dividing up, or the big number in a division problem. Say you were given four cups. This is your divisor. The divisor is the number of groups you are separating your objects into. Now, let's try dividing those 25 marbles into these four cups. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I'm going to keep going until I've used up all 25 of my marbles. I want to make sure I keep the same amount in each cup. That's why I'm only putting one marble in a cup at a time. So far, I've only used up eight of my marbles. I better keep going. Nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. Hmm, I have one marble left. But if I put it in any of these cups, they won't be even. I'm just gonna set it down here to the side. I have an extra marble. I can't put it in any cups or they wouldn't be even. The number of marbles in each cup is called the quotient. The quotient is the answer to a division problem. The leftovers are called the remainder. So the quotient or answer to this division problem is Six, because there are six marbles in each cup, remainder one, because I had one marble left over. The R stands for remainder. Let's take a closer look at the division problem we just solved using marbles. We did 25 divided by four equals six remainder one. In this problem, 25 is the dividend, Remember, the dividend is the big number in the division problem, the total number of objects. Four is the divisor, the small number that you're dividing the big number by. I remember dividend and divisor because dividend is a bigger word than divisor, and the dividend is the bigger number. The divisor is the smaller number in the problem. Remember, the answer to a division problem is called the quotient. And in this problem, we had extra, we had leftovers. That's called the remainder. When we divide larger numbers, we will write the equation using a bracket instead of the division sign. And that looks like this. The dividend goes under the bracket. The divisor goes out front. The quotient or answer goes on top and the remainder goes right next to your answer. This is just another way to write 25 divided by four. When dividing smaller numbers, this is called basic division, you can use manipulatives like marbles, or you can draw pictures to help you, or you can use fact families. We'll practice using fact families tomorrow. For today, we're gonna focus on using manipulatives and pictures to model basic division. Let's take a look at your assignment for today. Today, you're going to be asked to model division using objects. It says to drag and drop the objects into equal groups, and then it wants you to fill in the different parts of the division problem. If you're confused or you don't know how to get started, make sure you click the click here for help button. That will open a video that will show you exactly how to solve this problem. That way, you can go on to the next problem and try it yourself.